What's poppin', my crafting metal enthusiast? Well, today, we're gonna tear apart this microwave. Let's find out what precious metals, or valuable metals, actually exist inside of a microwave. I could basically compare this microwave to an egg. I mean, it's got a hard shell, and the yolk inside is where the real value lies. The yolk, of course, being the precious metals that lie inside, like aluminum, copper, and sometimes some brass. These precious metals lie in components like the motors, the wires, and the heaviest part of a microwave, the transformer. But the shell itself is actually worth some scrap value, so we keep all the metal parts. But to get the most value, you're better off to separate these parts. It's kind of tedious, so if you're finding a lot of metal, sometimes it's not worth the value because it just takes too long. You might be missing out on other golden opportunities. But for me, I just have this infatuation with copper. You know, like that old Michael Jackson song, Just Beat It. That's me pounding right next to the transformer. Though. Just know that microwaves that were recently plugged in store some power inside of those capacitors. You don't want to cause some kind of an arc or an explosion. We throw all the scrap bits inside the microwave on our scrap trailer. Now we just gotta start extracting those precious metals, like this copper on the side of that small motor there. Some wire, we throw the bits of scrap to the side in a bucket, and then we start removing the big motor. I think this motor is the one that turns the little wheel inside, you know, that you put your food on, the plate. But I'm not exactly sure. What do I look like, an engineer? While this motor looks like it's all copper, it actually had me fooled too. I recommend you take a file or even like a knife or a razor blade and scratch those copper wires. If you reveal a silvery metal, this is actually copper coated aluminum windings and you'd probably get more value out of just taking it in as a motor because you're really just dealing with aluminum and not that $3.50 a pound copper we really wanted. And guess what? They actually do the exact same thing on these transformers. I wish I would have realized that much sooner. I thought for some reason, with the copper coated aluminum windings, I'd get something more of a gold color when I melted it down. But it turns out there's very little copper on these windings. And you're really only going to get aluminum. And when you pour the bar, well, you'll see. But there is some true 100% copper inside of these. That little motor that ran the exhaust fan on the top was pure copper. And there's pure copper in the wires sometimes. Unfortunately, these wires are aluminum as well. I mean, they're just making things so cheap nowadays. But you sure can find copper inside of the extension cord or the power cord that plugs into the wall. Those are pretty much always going to be pure copper. There's not going to be a lot of it. But it is worth, if you like melting metal like I do, it is worth getting that copper out. So basically, we're going to take all this aluminum, get rid of all this slag-creating crap, and we'll melt it down. And we'll see what this copper-coated aluminum windings actually turn into. Will we have Nordic gold? Well, we got it all busted apart. We're going to go ahead and head on over to the melting station. First, we got to strip those couple copper wires that were in the power cord. We want to see right there is where I found out they were all aluminum wires. But the power cord, we're going to strip that out and get all the copper out of it. Because, you know, I just love copper. It's like my favorite metal besides gold, of course. I made a little wire splicer on the side there. I did a video on that. But with such a small amount of wire, I didn't need to drill a new hole and set up a whole new stripping thing. I just took the razor blade down it horizontally and I stripped it out in about five minutes. All right, so as far as the weight of aluminum you'll get out of one microwave like the one I did, not even a pound. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to add some actual weight to it. I got this piece of aluminum because there's no point in pouring and wasting all that fuel on something that's not even going to look like anything. I really want to know what aluminum is in there, but now you can see that there's six ounces of aluminum in that microwave. Not worth pouring by itself, so we'll add this to it here. I'll weigh it up when we're done, and we'll take that off the top. The copper, you'll get pure copper, you get three ounces of pure copper, which as you can see, not really worth melting down because this small piece of copper here is actually more than three ounces. So if we melt that and that together, and then I'm going to strip this little bit of wire and add it to it, you know, we should at least get 
closer to you know half a pound which would make it worth burning and then we'll just go ahead and burn uh, this by itself and see what that would Let's go ahead and clean out our crucible. We don't want to contaminate our metals with residual metal from previous pours. We fire up the burner. Got this burner on eBay. It's turned out fairly good. I can't really complain. However, it does take a lot of time to melt metal. That was that really big piece of aluminum we just melted down. Let's get all this slag out. It's basically oxidized metal, dirt, and other contaminants. You can pretty much tell if your aluminum's pure when you look at the color of it. If it's real shiny metallic and looks a lot like mercury, then it's pretty pure. And it's ready to be poured if it's liquid like this. Always preheat your molds. You don't want to have a steam explosion. Molten metal is extremely hot. It will burn right through your skin, into your flesh, and possibly through your muscles. So always heat your molds. It's really important. Now make sure you're wearing your safety gear, you know, your PPE, your protective equipment. I'm being pretty ignorant in this video. I'm wearing shorts and Crocs. I don't know what I was thinking. But let's go ahead and pour this beautiful molten aluminum bar. Just look at that shine. It's like a mirror until it dries, of course, and then it turns into the ugliest metal on earth. But there's really nothing like it when you actually get a chance to just hold the metal bars that you pour. They just feel so cool. I mean, they're so dense and it's just cool knowing you created something that we're on it now. Now I'm melting my favorite, absolute favorite metal of all time. Besides gold, of course. This is copper. It's not a terrible lot amount of copper, but it's enough to put a smile on my face. We're going to get this copper extremely hot so we can pour a really beautiful bar. And while it won't be a huge bar, it'll still be cool to look at and hold and see something created out of what would have ended up in a landfill perhaps i mean it's a shame to think that so much raw material like this copper is wasted i mean if i could just have like one percent of all the copper and aluminum that's thrown into the landfills i'd probably be like one of the richest people on this planet isn't that crazy to think about that we waste so much and not only that we waste so much, is that when we're getting this raw metal out of the ground, we do so much damage to our planet. And I'm not saying it's not super important that we mine these minerals. It is. But it's what we leave behind when we mine these minerals that's the most important. A lot of times we leave the land in a desolate state. And knowing that we can save some of the energy that was first used to mine the metal by doing something like this and repurposing this metal just puts a smile on my face. There is some impurities in this copper. We got to pull that off the top. We want to have the purest copper bar that we can create, you know? I mean, I don't want to have to remelt it to get a pure bar. Let's fast forward through this heating up the metal to an extreme temperature part. And remember, we always put our molds on the fire first. I only need one mold. I use my graphite mold. It seems to pour the best. Let's take this hot ass metal out of the furnace and put it in the mold. I call it hot ass metal because of course it's my favorite metal after gold. You know all the cool sounds that you expect to hear when you see hot ass copper poured into a mold. Well you can tell it's getting dark now. My shadows aren't just longer they're non-existent and this crucible, furnace, and copper inside that mold are glowing like, well, you know, the sun. And then it cools off quicker than you know Nick Saban when he lost the national championship. <laughs> Let's flip this copper out of this little mold and see just how beautiful it actually is. It'd be nice if I had like a block of ice or something I could set it on so it'll cool off and I can actually grab it sooner. But, you know, you gotta make do with what you got. And I ain't got a solo cup, so I use this red clear one instead. Sorry, I just really felt like those sounds need to be extended a little bit longer. I run five YouTube channels, and as you can see, my camera angles sometimes still suck. And I forgot to hit record on a couple of the pours, but this is what we got. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. That previous clip sounded like a fart. But I'm not going to lie, that... That was a lot of work. Uh, the microwave melt was my most difficult and intense melt so far. But the reward seems to be really worth it. Um, 
you know, obviously this isn't all just from the microwave, but when you look at a bar like this, okay, that side's a little more buggered up, but once I polish it, once I get all my polishing equipment in, this is going to look gorgeous. This is what happened with the electric motors. This is literally all of the copper and aluminum windings from the electric motors. I thought it was going to be more like uh, gold, like Nordic gold color, but it really just is primarily aluminum in those copper coated aluminum wires. Now this is all the other aluminum that we melted that uh, was partly from some of the internals and another wasn't a lot so we made it worth our time to melt down another nice piece of uh, aluminum with it so we'd have something good to show everyone and uh, I don't regret that either that was kind of a pain in the butt that was a lot of work too um, just trying to get that metal because it was actually really strong uh, get it to bend and fall into the crucible was a lot of work um, but looking at the end product it was worth it so, you know, we stacked up pretty good. And that right there, it just makes my day when I hold a solid piece of copper like that. You know, in case you didn't hear me, it was my favorite metal after gold, of course. Um, not my biggest piece, but it is really pretty. And uh, the bottom is really smooth. It's not a full piece. It wasn't quite enough to do a full pour to make it like a solid bar, but it turned out really good. Let's go ahead and weigh it up and see what it all weighs. All right, let's get this on labs. Okay, it's on labs. So our copper pour ended up weighing 6.7 ounces. We had a little bit of loss um, when I was cleaning out any of the slag and stuff, which is okay. We still got a nice piece. This is the aluminum motors. We didn't get to weigh this earlier, but I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. It was a huge pile, but it wasn't. And that weighs in at 5.2 ounces. And then the, all the aluminum plus that extra piece of aluminum we added weighed in at one pound, um, two pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. So pretty good. And the total metal weight for everything is uh, three pounds, 5.9 ounces. So a pretty good weigh in, I think, for, you know, what we had, just one microwave and a few extra pieces. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. We appreciate it. We'll keep stacking up our ingots and our raw metal and uh, have fun with it. And that's the key is we're having fun and we're recycling. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely subscribe. We'll see you next time right here on Crafted Metal. Peace.